Welcome to the Idaho Business Podcast, the only Idaho podcast focused on providing profits for Idaho people. If you love our state and love small business, you are in the right place. We interview local legends, learn business, and have way too much fun doing it. You're listening to the Idaho Business Podcast with your friend, host, and all-around great guy and owner of New Clean Commercial Cleaning, Spencer Ward. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Idaho Business Podcast. Excited for another awesome week. Uh... As always, we're sponsored by HealthWest. These guys are an awesome, awesome organization that helps Idahoans and even people outside of Idaho now, but uh, specifically Idahoans uh, throughout our wonderful communities. Um, so give them a Google, find out how they can help you and your family and uh, see whether you can go visit them at your near- nearest location. Um, man, this last week, I just finished Green Lights. I know I've talked about it before. And because uh, I, I, I listened to Matthew McConaughey's uh, podcast with, with Ed Milet, which was amazing. He talked about his book, Green Lights. So I, I, I read that book. Amazing. <clears throat> and I just figured I'd talk a little bit more about that along with uh, the analogies that he, he spun off from that, along with what I've learned from Damon West. Two two people that are that came from you know backgrounds that had some some roughness behind it, just like ma- many of you or uh, many of us have come from, and uh, did not let their backgrounds define them and what they could become or what they could be, uh, what they could uh, experience in life or what they could achieve. Um, one thing that with Matthew McConaughey talking about green lights. You know, this this is a guy who grew up literally in a trailer court. Uh, very, very blue collar family. His his mom and dad were divorced and uh, and remarried three different times to each other. Um, but they loved each other. And uh, they, it was an interesting uh, upbringing that he had. Uh, he had some brothers and he was under the understanding that uh, as he's looking back that not every situation you found yourself in just because it's a bad situation uh, is, is something that's going to define your life as something that's going to negatively define your life. Uh, there's, there's things that he pointed out that uh, wasn't the best, but, you know, the, the things that happened to him at that point, but turned out because of those things happening to him, uh, turned him on to another path or gave him experience in this other uh, area that uh, gave him success or or catapulted him into success later in the future. And if any of you know or have heard of Damon West, Damon West is uh, one of these just striking individuals who, very athletic person who went end up going to, to prison. Uh, for years and I think I believe it was for drugs and his mother told him hey you know go in the go into prison but come out better than you than than you went in and as he was in there you know he came to a a few different realizations but uh, he had a choice you know because of an inmate I think he he, uh, was in there with he says you have three choices you can become a carrot uh, you can become the, the egg or the coffee bean. And, uh, you know, and, he, and the, the, he said, you know, with these three, uh, the, these three objects, when they're placed in boiling water, they all do different things. Uh, boiling water, obviously, it's, you know, it's not the most comfortable place to be. As in our lives, we're all placed in different comfort uh, zones. And, and sometimes we're in the boiling water. And it's it's up to us to say, hey, Am I going to learn from this opportunity or am I going to just sit here and melt? So number one, you can be like the carrot. What happens when the carrot's placed in the boiling water? You know, I'm sure we've all eaten <laughs> uh, cooked carrots. They turn soft. They're sad and they're weak. Okay. Even though we're, they're delicious. Or there's the egg. You know, be like the egg that turns hard. 
they, they're they're mad and they're mean individuals because of the things they went through. Or you can be the coffee bean, and being like the coffee bean, the coffee bean once it when it's in boiling water, it changes the water. It doesn't let the water change it. So because of its positivity, so be the coffee bean out of these three. Uh, these three choices. And, that, and that's something that Matthew McConaughey was uh, really talking about without using these three, uh, these three analogies, but talking about we're all in life going to be going through trials and these tribulations. We're going to go through some real crap. Uh, but if we don't have those times of uh, crap and, and weakness and things that we're going through, how are we ever going to enjoy the good times? Because how, how are we going to be able to, to differentiate between the good times and the bad times if we don't go through these times? So instead of thinking, why me? I don't deserve this. You know, think, what, what can I learn from this? Last year was a, was a, a, a trying year uh, for myself. And it was not my, it was not my year. <laughs> I did not enjoy last year. Uh, but I, I, there was times that I uh, I felt like I was a carrot, you know, and there's times I felt like I was turned into the egg. But all overall, I, I really just kept asking, okay, if I'm going to go through this, if I'm going to go through this hell, because at, at times it was hell, I'm going to learn something out of you know from this, and I'm going to become stronger because of this. And I believe uh, that I did, and I believe the things that I'm experiencing now that would have bothered me you know, a few years ago, don't even affect me now because of the things that I went through last year and even years before that have helped strengthen me. Um, so there's things that you go through or you grow through. That's what Matthew McConaughey would always say. And that's something I was just thinking of. Um, you, know, you, you, you go through, you grow through. And um, these are the things we have to think about. You know, we're all. You know, if you're listening to this podcast, you're 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 leading individuals. You're lead. You're leading your business, and you're thinking. You know, this isn't this isn't easy. There's times that they're it's, it's fantastic, and you're 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 shouting for for joy because you close a big deal. Your team did something awesome, and those those are the times that you should celebrate. But at the same time, don't don't let yourself ride this massive roller coaster of ups and downs. Find that happy medium where you ride ride this you know this mellow wave that you're not experiencing the the crazy highs and the crazy lows you know but find that find that <laughs> that area where you you're you're enjoying life and realizing like man I'm going to go through some stuff everyone does I'm not anyone special or I'm not anyone that's more picked on than anyone else even though social media will depict that I am picked on more than someone else because their social media just shows the perfection in people's lives. But we need to realize we, we are not uh, different from anyone else. You know, we, everyone else has their struggles. Everyone else has their trials uh, in business and in life. It's just depending upon how, what you're going to do and how you're going to react uh, when those type of things happen to you. So hopefully you can get some stuff out of that today. Uh, that's the things I was really thinking about this week because uh, that was a really top of mind last year. I honestly, guys, it, guys and gals, it was, it was, a, it was a year of self reflection and thinking. Okay, I'm going to get through this. You know, I don't know how, but I'm going to. Uh, and it was, it was a lot of prayer, a lot of, uh, like I said, self reflection, and uh, I believe I'm, a, I'm a better person because of it. So. I know that we 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 all can we can all can do this because I'm not any better or smarter than than you are. Um, so so put yourself together. You know, no matter what has happened, there's always there's always uh, uh, someone else or out there that's had it worse than you, and there's always a way out, and there's always a solution to what's going on. You just have to find it. You be great. Be creative. You know, like we talked about in other episodes before. Be that person. You know, be that person for your family, be that person for your friends that can find that way out, that can be the one to change your family's lives. Uh, and, and, but it does take creativity and it takes that stalwartness not to give up.
So until next week, go out there, be happy, be grateful, and serve others. And adios. See ya. Congratulations on spending a couple of minutes getting a little bit smarter, having some fun, and supporting the Idaho business community. If you're feeling the love, make sure to subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you are.